Traditionally, the Luo people were a patriarchal society with a decentralized government system. The family was headed by the father or the first wife, Mikai or son, in the absence of the father. Many families came together through a traced relations by blood to form a clan, Anuola, which mostly brought together the heads of different families together as people of the same descent, Jokangato. Many clans came together to form a village called Gwen, which was headed by a village elder titled Dodo or Jadwong Gwen, who ruled with the assistance of elders who were traditionally men of status, gained through commerce, wealth, war or eloquence. Many villages came together to form a sub-tribe, which was headed by a hereditary chieftaincy by the eldest son, Ruoth. The Luo government structure was stronger at the sub-tribe level under Ruoth, who had a council of elders, Galamoro Ma Jodongo or Jodongweng, from all the villages in their territory. The Luos organized their defense and security at the sub-tribe level, which was headed by a commander, Osumba Morwai, who was part of the council of elders. The council also had a spokesperson who talked on behalf of the council in official matters in village market meetings, religious and cultural ceremonies that Ruth presided over. Sub-tribe relations with each other was ad hoc as there was no single ruler of the Luo people. Sub-tribes came together during calamities, war and natural disasters like drought, famines and floods to help each other. Sumo, the act of sharing produce with people who were struck by famine was a common tradition, with Kisumo being one of the renowned marketplaces where those who were struck by famine never missed the generosity of their Luo counterparts. The concept of a Luo ruler care was coined by Jaramogi Oginga Odinga during the formation of the Luo Union in 1947 that was aimed at uniting all people of Luo Desen in East Africa. Jaramogi Ojinga Odinga was the first Luo Ker. As part of distinguishing a tribal leader from a national leader, part of the conditions was that a Luo Ker would not go into national politics. And when Jaramogi Oginga Odinga went into national politics in 1957, he had to quit being a care. 